Hello everyone, welcome to Basic Tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how to do this animation. So let's get started. First things first, um, I downloaded this clock template from Google. So I'm just going to copy and paste that over here. That's the clock template that I used. And, and now I'm going to make the hands of the clock. So I'm just going to use an arrow what I'm going to do I'm going to duplicate these two hands duplicate them you can press control plus D or you can just copy and paste it over and I'm going to put the duplicated one just beneath the original one I'm going to do the same for this one so what I'm going to do I'm going to select these two by selecting them while pressing shift and I'm going to group them together and for the one on the bottom I'm just going to remove the fill and also remove the outline so the shape is there but it, it's just no fill and no outline and I'm going to do the same for this one now we can start the animation what I'm going to do I'm going to use a spin animation that's the only animation that we'll be using so as you can see the axis is in the middle so that's why it can make that sort of spin because if we only used this arrow alone and we added this pin, this is what it would look like. Where is it? And put that on the clock head, it wouldn't look. Yeah, that's not how we wanted it to look. So that's why we did what we did. So let's get back into it. So I have that animation and the duration is set for two seconds so i'm going to also add another animation another spin animation to the shorthand with previous now the thing about clocks you'll have to do a little bit of math here we have to calculate how many times it would take from this hand to go all the way back around how many seconds that would take and this one for every for every time this hand goes back to 12 this hand moves to the other number so we have to calculate that so I'm just going to use the timer on my phone or you could use here but I find this is a bit complicated so I'm using the timer on my phone to calculate how long it takes for this hand to go back to 12 so for every 2.6 seconds this one has to to move one so what i'm going to do multiply 2.6 using my calculator about 31.2 seconds so i'm going to put this to let's say 31 seconds so if we just go back to the animations and we select this one I want this to keep looping so I'll just click until the end of slide and I'll do the same with this one so let's see one two now it's a bit tricky so you'll have to play around with with the delay five six seven so you have to use your discretion in order for this to effectively work so that's basically the end of the animation so you will have to play around with the timing and the calculations because you have to keep in mind that this small hand moves 
slower than the larger hand and moves a little way after so you'll have to play around with the delays and the durations and of course calculate the amount of seconds it takes for each hand to move and all that stuff just so it could be how you wanted it so thank you for watching this video be sure to check out our other videos on this channel subscribe leave a comment like this video and uh, we'll see you in another video thank you so much for watching bye